Hello and welcome to the Sister Cousin channel. This is a lifestyle channel for the mature woman. And today I am going to be sharing with you my little journey with my um, hair. So since we've been quarantined, um, my hair has started to change colors as most of us mature women we we experience this and we have a choice whether we want to go ahead and embrace the the wisdom as it comes through in our hair or not it's a personal thing um i kind of decided first of all when originally we went into quarantine i bought a box of color but i was like okay i'm not gonna do this i'm gonna go ahead and let the gray come in because i had never really not colored my hair so i didn't even know what it would look like so i um was kind of rolling with it and i was like you know i've been natural for well natural for 10 years it had been 10 years since i had a relaxer um but i was always getting color probably for at least eight of those 10 years i was getting color so i really wasn't natural i guess by the um definition so i decided okay now go ahead and go gray um, and I, I liked it at first and I was embracing it and then I didn't. <laughs> so I have my stash of color here that I always had on, on hand that I had purchased at the beginning of the uh, shutdown, um, that I just had it there and I was like, eh, you know, maybe I'll use it. Maybe I won't. But as you can see, I did. <laughs> so if you're interested in seeing how I went from, gray embracing my gray to covering it up um and putting getting myself some kind of a hairstyle now i'm not a hairstylist i am not a professional by any stretch of the imagination um prior to the quarantine i will go to the salon to get my color put in my hair um but i've been making do you know i've been doing my hair washing my hair and styling it conditioning it and doing all of that kind of stuff so you know, this has kind of been a good exercise. It had been a long time since I had to care for my hair like that. Um, but I'm actually sort of enjoying it, you know, just kind of getting to know my hair again and doing that kind of thing. So anyway, I'm going to stop yapping now. If you're interested in seeing how I put this color in my hair, what kind of color I use, what I did to retain my moisture and everything, then keep watching. Also, I'm going to share, this is a watch and go, wash and go on a uh, very um, kinky 4B, 4C hair. Um, so I'll show you what products I use, how I manipulate my hair or whatever to achieve my wash and go. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Thanks for stopping in and I'll see you back at the end of the video. All right, so today is the day. I think I'm over this gray now. I've seen how it's coming in. And I'm not really feeling it. So the first thing I'm going to do is my hair needs to be cut again. And I cut it before, which was my first time really doing a cut. And I just use these scissors. I know they're not the right kind of scissors, but I'm not a hairstylist. So I made it do what it do. And then I have these clippers here that I don't know how to use. But anyway, I'm going to take my sides down and I'm going to try to um, make this make sense. <laughs> I'll probably do some more after it's wet um, to do that. But anyway, what I'm gonna be using is this Nutrice hair color. And my hair has a lot of build up right now because I put gel in it and stuff like that. So it's kind of flaky. So I'm not going to do the color on top of that. I'm going to kind of rinse some of the um, gel and stuff out so that it's the color can adhere directly to my hair. Um, but that's what I'm going to do after I try to clip it a little bit because no need on coloring the hair that's going to be coming off, right? So save some of my color because my hair is very thick. So one packet of this is probably not going to be enough. This is the, the whole jar that mixes in. So anywho, let me get started. Thank you. 
Now the steps to this is quite simple. It's only um, basically three steps for the color. And um, what you do is you mix, this is the main bottle and it's labeled A. So you put in B, they're um, not, uh, the letters are on there to help you. And then there is um, C that you put in there. And I believe that this is some type of um, moisture that goes in. So I like that because one of my main issues with box color for my hair is that it's been very, very drying. And then step D is what you do after the color. And this is your conditioner. So I'm going to do these three steps. Basically, all you have to do is color your hair, uh, cover your hair with it. After you've mixed it up, leave it on for 25 minutes, rinse it off, and that's it. And they tell you not to do it any more than four to six weeks. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. And not to save any of the... Um, color because it's no good once it's been mixed up. So this is the Nutrice. It is the color dark chocolate. I wish I hadn't gotten it so dark, but that's all they had. They were sold out of all the colors um, some weeks back when I got it. But what attracted me to this one is it has avocado, olive, and shea, which means it should be moisturizing and not cause the, um, the dryness. And it is a permanent hair color. So here we go. All right, so I'm going to open the A container, the B container here, and um, looks like you've got to punch a hole down in it. All right, so now I will pour it in here. Make sure I get it all down in here. I don't want to leave any out because my hair is so thick. I'm going to need every bit of it and probably won't have enough. So I cannot afford to leave any in here. I'm just squeezing it out. And this will activate the color. All right. So I think I have it all in. Just one last squeeze just to be sure. All right, now this is C and this I believe is the moisturizer. See if it says what it is on here. I can't see, I have glasses on and still can't see. So I'm gonna just nip the end here and then let that go down in there. Shake it up really good so that it gets mixed up. Get gloved up. Oh, these gloves actually fit pretty good. Sometimes you get the gloves to the uh, color and they're really loose, but these actually fit pretty well. Okay, so here's the color. And I'm going to go ahead and start applying. Now, I can just put it all in here and not worry about it because this is pretty much all gray here. But in here, I will go inside and just do the roots. So, I'm sorry, I've got water dripping because I... Um, I rinse my hair to get some of the residue out of it before. Now, I probably should have sectioned my hair off. I'm not a professional, but I'm going to get this done and I'll come back on and show you. So I've got the color on now. I'm going to let it sit for a total of 25 minutes with this plastic cap just so that it can warm up a little bit and the color can go ahead and get through. I really can't believe I'm doing this. I really wanted to try to let the gray come on through, but I was totally over it. So it is what it is and we're just gonna see what happens. 
All right, so it's been 25 minutes. I see that probably 95% of the gray is gone, I'm thinking. I don't know, hard to say. But anyway, time to rinse it out and then we'll know for sure. I don't mind a little bit of it. I just wanted these sides to be taken care of. This right here, I'm not sure if that is the color saturated in that area or if that's actually gray. But I'll know when I rinse it out because I can't let it sit on any longer. I don't want to over process. So here we go. All right, so I've rinsed out the color and I've put in the conditioner and I already know that this color was a drastic mistake for me. <laughs> the gray's gone, but whoa, it's dark. So it is the um, dark chocolate. So I knew it was going to be darker than what I normally do, but because I had too much gray at the roots, it really pulled dark. So I have the conditioner on and now in order to add more moisture back into my hair and ensure that my hair doesn't dry out, I'm going to do a steam treatment on my hair while I have the plastic bag and the conditioner on. So I use this uh, conditioner mask that came with it. This didn't do anything for my thick hair. So I then had to add in my um, hydrating moisturizer uh, conditioner or hydrating conditioner by Carol's Daughter. This is what I always use. I also use their uh, shampoo as well. So I put this on in addition to what came with the color. I've got that on in my hair. I've got the plastic cap on. Let's go do some steaming. Now I have this steamer that I've had for 10 years since I originally stopped getting relaxers. And it just has the hooded piece that goes on it here. It is by Beautiful. Um, very old. But it's really good for adding the moisture back in your hair. But I must admit, I have not used it as much as I should. Um, so I'm going to start using it. It also has this attachment if you want to do a facial and the steam comes out here. So you can put your face up to it and do a very nice facial. But right now, we're going to go ahead and put the hood on there and steam the hair. Now, if you don't have a steamer, you can use a hooded hair dryer or one of those um, dryers that the bonnet type of um, dryer, or you could even use a blow dryer. Just kind of put a plastic bag on your cap with your um, um, conditioner on and kind of heat it up, or you can put on multiple caps that um, creates a little bit more steam. I've done all of these methods to try to add the moisture back in my hair because that's truly an issue that I have when using color. So I'm going to sit here now with the steam. It hasn't started to come out fully yet, but it's starting to heat up. I can hear it. I'm using distilled water in it. That is a requirement. And so I'll just sit here and relax. All right, so the steaming is completed, and this is my naked hair. <laughs> there is no gray or very little gray, and it is dark, dark, dark. So what I'm going to do is, even though this is a, um, a regular deep conditioner, it's not a leave-in conditioner, I use it as such. So I'm going to put some more in my hair just to leave in. And I use what is called the lock method. So I use a leave-in or liquid, if you will, followed by an oil. And my oil of choice is coconut oil. You can use extra virgin coconut oil. I'm using um, Shea Moisture brand, but you can use any from the grocery store. And I just take a little bit on my hand and rub it in really good. And then just try to saturate my hair and that kind of seals in the 
moisture. And my hair feels really good. The steam definitely does help with the uh, moisturizer. And if you've been watching my videos, you know, a few weeks ago, I did a little haul and I picked up this uh, Cantu gel here. It's a uh, avocado gel. So I like a gel that doesn't have a lot of um, stiffness to it. I like it to have some moisture in it. So I'm going to use that. But before I do that, I want to put a cream because that's the next step to the uh, lock method. So it's a liquid or a leave-in oil and then some type of a cream. Um, and I need all of that because that adds extra moisture for my hair. And so my cream is going to be this Amla Heavy Cream. Now, I am a product junkie, so I have a little bit of everything. Any type of cream will do, um, Shea Moisture or whatever. And that's what I usually do, whatever I have. So I'm just put a little bit of, of that through my hair as well. And this kind of helps to keep the gel from getting crunchy. Now, what I do is I just kind of separate my hair and start to apply the gel. Now I'm using again this Cantu gel and I just take a little bit on my fingers and just kind of rake it through my hair. That's all I do all over my hair. That's how I achieve my washing goals. That's how I define my curls. So I'm not going to bore you with that process. I will come back on when I get it done to show you how it turns out because right now it's a hot mess. So the gel is all applied and I still have to work with it, but my hair starts to dry before I get all the gel shingled through like I want to. So I use this spray bottle, which is mostly water, but I put a little bit of vegetable glycerin in my hair, in the bottle, I mean, and I just kind of mist it. To I have to keep it wet while I'm shingling it through because the water is what helps again with the moisture and also it helps my hair with the definition. So my curls, I don't know if you can see them, but they're starting to come in or the definition in my hair with the manipulation. My hair does not necessarily curl up too well without the manipulation. So this is the shingling method and I just go all through my hair like this just to make sure that the oil is pulled through evenly, um, not the oil, but the gel, and that helps for my definition. So once I have done all of that that I wanna do, now I go in with some mousse. <laughs> By definition, you think a wash and go is easy. For my hair, it's not. Some people might be able to literally wash and go. Absolutely not for me. I have, my hair takes a lot to to get it the way that I want it. So I manipulate my gel through it. And then I go in with some mousse and I use any kind that I have. Right now I'm using this Mousse Death by Rue. Um, it's a texture foam. I just like the way that it helps give my hair more hold. Um, so I just shake it up. I'll show you how much I get on here. It's almost finished, so I don't have much in here. And I just rub it through my hair, but it just helps to define it, but also for the um, definition to kind of last a little bit longer, I find. So just kind of rub it together and rub it in. Now on my back, I usually use the circular motion because that helps the shorter parts to get the curl definition. So I'll just keep kind of working this through. And then if I'm not going anywhere, I let it air dry. And if I am going somewhere, then I use a diffuser to kind of get it dry so that I'm not so wet. But I like to have that water in it as long as possible because that helps with my moisture retention and it also helps with my definition. So this is what I'm doing here. My curls are starting to come through and I'll just keep working with it a little bit longer. 
all total, it probably takes me about 25 minutes to do my wash and goes. And uh, each day then I just re-wet it and kind of manipulate it a little bit for a few minutes just to get it going again for the next day. I also use this, which is like a sponge with these holes in it for my shorter portion. And again, just in the circular motion. And it just helps to define the curls and help them to clump together. So I'll do that also when I first wash my hair. If you can see the little curls forming back there, but that helps a lot when I uh, first wash it and that, those will stay in, that kind of stays defined. So my hair is starting to really curl. The white is the product. The gray for the most part is gone. Some of the curls, I may take them and do a little bit of a twirl if I see some that, you know, just need a little bit of help. And I just start to press it a little bit just to get the shape that I want. And that's pretty much it. From this point on, it'll just dry. It'll continue to curl up and set. And then I am good to go. It is much darker than I want it, but the gray is gone. So I'll have to take it and run with it. That's all I can do. I don't have anything else. So overall, I'm pleased with it. I'll come back on when it's dry and let you take a look. All right, so again, thanks for stopping by. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you will subscribe to the video and hit the notification bell so that you're notified each and every time I upload a video. As I said at the beginning, this is a lifestyle channel, so I tackle a bunch of topics related to the mature woman, household things such as clean with me, cook with me, decorate with me, shopping hauls, hair videos, travel vlogs, and a whole lot of other things. I really hope that you will subscribe and that I'll see you back here next time. Bye-bye.